a little bit over seven years now. Um, it's uh, starting to lose 10, uh, 12 million dollars invested in, in about 65 companies, and we've seen 1.5 billion dollars in total exits, which has been pretty awesome. Most of them have been this year, which is kind of crazy. Uh, and co working, so we started in a smaller space and ended up here uh, a little bit ago. So, one thing that I've learned in, in startups is that it, it really isn't all about how you tell the story of your idea. Like, having a good idea is great. Um, but a lot of people don't make it because they don't tell their idea in the right way. Uh, telling your, your idea, telling the story of your idea well um, to potential investors, potential um, partners, potential uh, employees, journalists, etc., is really like how you like, like make it in startups. So I'm going to use one of my favorite ways of telling a story um, to talk about story. Superhero movies. Uh, superhero movies are great to tell this because everything's exaggerated in superhero movies. It's Everything. The heroes are super, the villains are super, the problems are super, and that's kind of how it works to start, right? So there's three elements in uh, a superhero movie. The MacGuffin, which I'll explain in a second, the bad guy, and the good guy. So the MacGuffin is a, is a movie term where uh, it's, a, it's a plot, a, 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 a thing that moves the plot forward. Um, so it's uh, the, the, night, the briefcase, the, you know, the most sexist and oldest one is the damsel in distress, right? It's like a thing that like, makes the movie happen and like provides urgency for the movie, right? We've got to get the damn briefcase. We've got to get the, this is the, the uh, Tesseract, which is the quick up of every single Marvel movie at this point. Um, and it's just like an energy cube. I don't know why, but like, you know, we've got to like do all these things around and it provides this urgency. It's like, man, I got the Tesseract. Like, we'll figure out why later. So in your startup story, the MacGuffin is a shift to the mind, right? Like, it's a thing that provides urgency to why you're doing why you're doing So. It's something that recently happened in your market that sort of enables this whole um, idea to happen. So you have to answer the questions, why now and why is it urgent, right? So what happened that suddenly I have to start this? And this is important because when you talk about your startup, talking about urgency just kind of like coalesces everyone around this idea and makes people want to work with you and work for you. Right? So some examples of this is for Uber, everyone's walking around with a smartphone in their, in their pocket suddenly with a GPS, right? For Google, like the amount of information on there was skyrocketing, couldn't make sense of it. Um, and for Amazon, people are going to buy everything on the internet, like where are you? Right? So these, these are things that are, they just happen and certainly going to uh, take it out. So the super villain is the bad guy. Um, it's someone that everyone agrees is bad. Like no one ever likes the super villain. If you like the super villain, it's a weird movie, there's something wrong with you. Um, <laughs> So for your, for your startup story, uh, the supervillain is like whatever your companies hate. It has to be something that your, your customers are. So like whatever the people you're going to sell to, universally like you tell you talk to them about it and it makes them cringe. It makes them deeply, deeply unhappy. That's your supervillain. And again, you have to talk about this the same way you talk about the first thing with urgency. But this you have to talk about it, about it with people. We're gonna like this thing sucks. We're gonna kill this, right? And it also it's another way to get people to rally around the cause because it's like, oh yeah, I hate that. So for Uber, it's taxi. Right? They, like you hear it every day, taxi companies blah blah blah. Like they they're oh, okay. For Google, it's like not finding stuff. And at the time, I was searching. And for Amazon, um, you know, just the brick and mortar experience and just not having things as cheaply as you can. And the superhero is the good guy in the superhero movie. Uh, so it's a it's a person with and sorry it's all guys here. Um, it's just superheroes. Um, but the superhero is someone who has super abilities and is going to save the world. And in your startup story, it's you. It's your company, right? So like you're going to save the world, and this is important. You have to talk about it in that way. I'm going to save the world. Like it's not like hey, I'm doing this thing. This is like you're going to like you have to have, talk about it as like you are going to save the world. And you have to really understand what your superpowers uh, your, your superpowers are to do this, um, and how they really help you defeat the superpower. Right? Like, what is the thing that everyone hates, and how do your special abilities as a company help you defeat the thing that everyone hates? So, some examples also. It's like food where it's like super super aggressive founders and like cheaper rides, and like not, not having to nail things. Uh, for Google, it was just geniuses with better algorithms for search. And for Amazon, it was just an infinite product selection compared to a regular motor store um, and cheaper prices. So explain your market opportunity with the urgency of a movie MacGuffin, have an arch enemy that's universally despised like a supervillain, and then explain your superpowers like a super